Legend has it that Hmong people could make ear catching sound by knocking it. Natural stones and stalactites found in caverns around their living places. Then they found copper and knew how to make bronze. Based on the sound from natural stones, they invented gongs and drums, which can produce more complicated sound. These musical instruments have been played at cultural and spiritual events of Hmong people for ages. Guys carrying drums take the lead. Girls holding gongs follow. To the Hmong land, they begin playing the bass drum. Playing gongs of different sizes which make sonorous sound. So gongs were mentioned in the birth of the earth and water. The legendary epic of Hmong people. Gong and bronze drum. The Hmong call bronze drum Kha Dong or Chong Chang are the two most ancient bronze musical instruments that were made first in the Hung King's era when the Viet Mong community had not yet separated. The two musical instruments had close association with the cultural and spiritual life of Vietnamese people in the past. Gong and drum were less and less used by Kin people while they were in use by the Mong during their funerals religious activities and the Langdo system until the beginning of the 20th century. Noticeably, the gong has been widely used up to now. Folk saying has it that the Mung call the musical instrument that is made of bronze in the circle shape. Looks like lapla, has shallow circular edges and a knob in the middle. And can make sound ching. Hmong people seldom call it Kong. Kong is the way they call Cheng Weng communicating with Kin people, or combining this word with other Viet Hmong words. The Hmong consider Cheng as sacred objects or offerings, as a metal object which is hard and sonorous. Cheng has spirit which drives evil things away and brings peace to the host family. Materially, Cheng is the symbol and measurement of wealth and power. Power. The gong is more than the symbol of wealth and power. It is widely used in daily life to announce a death, call hunting dogs, gather villages and so on. In addition, the Hmong use gongs to play sakba, congratulation songs played with gongs, in their traditional folk festivals. After their New Year festival on the second day, and high hectares ceremony on the seventh day, gong troops, called Fangba, start their spring performances from home to home. A gong troop is led by a trim fong. Everyone can become member of gong troops regardless of age and sex. However, there are gong troops whose members are men. Trim fong must be good at singing, communicating and improvising. Especially, he must know as many exact bar songs as possible. Most of the members of gong troops are young. There are one to two seniors who play the role of Trim Fong. A gong troop has at least 8 to 12 gong players. Two others carry baskets containing rice and gifts. The unique folk art form is performed on the first days of the new year, where the gong is the main musical instrument. The Hmong have long practiced wet rice farming. Thus, the water is of great significance to them. Apart from celebrating the new year, 
Zek Ba songs are performed to pray for rain for the coming crop. To this end, the gong sound, especially the kum sound, works like the thunder calling the rain. Obliviously, Hmong people in the past played the gong in rituals to pray for the rain and bumper crops. The gong music is found abundantly in folk festivals, where Hmong villages play many different songs. Noticeably, the kum sound is played in the same way. It is the nice blend of gong pieces with medium and low pitch. The kum marks the end of a piece of music at the same time fills the valleys and rocky mountains with resonant melodies. Obliviously, the gong is the most simple and original form of art and culture of Hmong people. It experienced very few changes. That is why it remains what it used to be. When it comes to BA6, we cannot but mention cultural relic sites like communal houses, temples, pagodas and other religious buildings. Noticeably the relic complex of Hectares, Trung and Thong temples, which is dedicated to Sun Tin, the god of Tanvian Mountain. The god has been the symbol of the unyielding spirit in the fight against natural disasters for ages. Legend has it that the god was considered as the founder and the protector of the nation. With such great deeds, the god was bestowed with the title Supreme God. The gong is mentioned as a musical instrument that has taken root deeply in the cultural treasure of the Hmong community in BA6. Hmong people live in the communes of Khan Thong, Min Kuang, BA6, BA3, Tan Line, Van Hoi and Yen Bai. When the gong sound echoes, Hmong people living on BA6 mountain slopes, from old women to small children, wear pan shirts, long black skirts, and turbans to the spring festival. The mountains and forests echo with the gong sound which cheers people up. No one knows when the gong has become the pinnacle of folk art and the unique musical instrument of Hmong people in BA6, Hanoi. None of Hmong people in BA3 today know when and how the first gong was made. However, the first Hmong people moving from Hoa Bin to BA6 mountain brought the gong pieces along with them to play in festivals, weddings and funerals. In the past, households in a Hmong village lived away from each other. Travel conditions were difficult too. Therefore, the gong sound was made to gather Hmong people to deal with village affairs. Since then, the gong has been part of Hmong ethnic culture with many distinctive features. Gong performances of Hmong people in BA6 reveal different shades of feelings. 
In playing the gong, the performer attached great significance to rhythm, which helps the audience better understand the content. According to cultural experts in Hanoi, the gong of Hmong people in Hanoi stands out. Thanks to the perfect combination between each member and the whole troop. Unlike the gong of head ethnic people in the Central Highlands which is played in their long house only because it serves as the mediator between man and God. The gong of Hmong people here is played from home to home during their main festivals. This makes the gong of Hmong people in Hanoi distinctive. In terms of gong culture, Bia Tre Commune is taking the lead. Among the seven mountainous communes of Bia Six district, the only gong set of the Hmong is still kept here. It was brought here from Hoa Bin by those who love the gong culture. The community plays an important role in preserving and promoting the gong culture. The next generations need the how to play the gong and get deeper insights into the true meaning of pieces of music and dances. To this end, the youth can be proud and highly aware of the importance of the preservation of the traditional culture. It is hoped that the gong culture will find its golden age soon, and the Mong Bia Tre village will resound with the verse, The gong is like the brilliant sun. The gong is like the scared moon. The gong rises from the mountain slope. Wake up, the gong.